Think you're excited for football season? Take a look at these guys. They will go down as the first football team at St. Charles High School and are ecstatic to have the opportunity. Truly, we are real excited because it's that's the St. Charles High School's new program, and we like we try to we strive to be the best. You set the tone for school history. It's a brand new school. I mean. You're setting the tone. I'm just blessed to be here. The man leading these players knows a thing or two about coaching good football teams. Avery Williams takes over after serving as head coach at T.C. Williams High School in Alexandria. It is obviously a coach's dream to be in a position to be able to build something from the ground all the way to the top and, and leave a strong tradition and history or heritage for those that come behind us. The players are hungry to taste victory this season. They are also eager to establish a reputation and definition of Spartan pride. It means you're strong, you're dedicated, and you don't give up at all. Fight to the last man, last breath. Becoming somebody that everybody would just be amazed to look at. The football IQ for the kids that we have out here is extremely high. I think that uh, if we continue to move forward at the pace that we are now, we're gonna be very successful this season. One, two, three, hey! Over at North Point High School, things are moving a little differently than in the previous seven years. That's because the Eagles have a new head coach. His name is Tom Petrie. It's, it's been phenomenal so far. I mean, he brought a lot of different energy and vibes to the team. We're doing a lot more team bonding and actually coming together as a real family and actually uniting all that have a common goal and mindset towards the season. Not much will change under Coach Petrie. North Point will still want to be known for playing physical, tough, fundamental football. One area that will be different is on offense, as the Eagles will run a spread style of offense you see in college football. It's just kind of evaluating the talent that we have, evaluating the skilled players we have, and trying to put them in the best position in order to win football games. I get to have a lot of more control of offense and everything, make more checks and reads, make more plays. After being a perennial championship contender, last year's team missed the playoffs. The Eagles know they can be better and expect to do great things this year. Six and four is not a spot where we want to be at. And we said in the offseason it was about discipline, effort, toughness, commitment, and pride. And we know that, that if, we, if we buy into those ideals, six and four is not going to be where we're going to keep standing. We've changed a whole bunch of stuff with strategy and just the way we're looking at things. And we're taking the season like by storm. Last year's one-win season for the McDonough Rams was not up to the school's tradition of excellence. Second-year head coach Ryan Gick has good reason to be optimistic going into this season. We're a senior dominant team this year. Our results in our weight room were great. We're strong, I think, and you know, we're, we're ahead of the game to where we were last year. And you know, with our seniors, I hope they can, they can carry us through this year. Coach Gick instituted a new segment in practice this year called Ram Time. The point of the drill is to get better, and players are buying in. I like that. I like this. Uh, like a time to it starts to practice, sets the tone, gets it up high for the beginning. We're going to compete. We're going to condition. We're going to get together at the team. So Ram time, I'm all for it. It's a great thing that coach is doing. Orange and purple is associated with wins and championships around the county. Players and coaches are eager to prove last year was an aberration. We're just aiming just to change everybody's opinion of us like and their taste of what McDonald football is all about. We took a step back last year and I put it on the kids and, and on, on myself to to try to change that. I think we have what it takes to, to get us back there and um, we just got to work hard. Slam it in there. Kill the ball. Kill the ball. Kill the ball. Kill the ball baby. Here we go team. Let's full go guys. Let's go. The La Plata Warriors should be a fun team to watch this season. Second year head coach Seth Pettit is known for coming up with some creative ways to score points, which gets his players excited at practice. You give the defense different looks so they don't know what you're running. So that's good to have the different formations. It's kind of tough at first because new offense, but it, it has its moments of great greatness. Last year we kind of got all things on the right foot, I think. I mean, we didn't get the wins we wanted to get, but uh, I think people around this county, and especially in SMAC, just said, hey, that's not the same play team we've seen lately. Coach Pettit believes his offensive line has improved vastly from last season. If the line plays well, the Warriors have a lot of players on this year's team who can make big plays, led by Jack Pilkerton. One of my strong points, like I can, I can be split out wide in the slot, tight end, and maybe in the backfield, and it's hard for coaches to uh, prepare for that. Friday night, he 
he just goes into a different type of attitude, a different type of mode that just you can't control him. I mean, he just says, it's my ball, I'm going to take that ball, and I'm going to run all over you with it. LaPlanta's motto for the upcoming season is win, but it's not quite what you think. It's an acronym, which stands for what's important now. A lot of people don't really believe in us, and you know, we're trying to go out there and prove people wrong that we are a football team to come out and watch. Seniors last year and seniors this year want to come back years from now and say we were the beginning of something great. If you want to see how a team goes from two wins in five years to a team to be feared, Head over to Thomas Stone High School. The Cougars are in year three of the Paul Frill era and like where they're heading. You know, we're just excited, excited. You know, we just did a lot of big things last year, you know, came up short a few games and uh, we just knew we should have had them. So we're just coming back hungry. We're excited about it. The kids are kind of in the system now. They've, they've been in it a couple years. It's not kind of how do we get through practice? It's what can we get out of practice? Thomas Stone will continue to attack teams on offense using the triple option. The Cougars have a number of players who can make big plays, led by Clemson-bound Jawan Briscoe. We just do what we're supposed to do. Do our job, go 100% every play, and the results show. He's actually not the only one. That's what makes it nice for him because you can't just focus on him. Same with, you know, Chad and, and Trey and Bundy. All those guys could score if you're not paying attention. Thomas Stone doesn't take any opponent lightly and sticks to the motto, one game at a time. At the same time, the Cougars have lofty goals for this season. It feels great, you know, just being known as a team that was uh, that brought Stone back. Everybody wants to make the playoffs. That's the biggest thing, you know, making the playoffs a success because now it's anybody's game. And that's where we've come up short and that's where we need to be. One, two, three, go! While many teams have had their ups and downs over the years, the Westlake Wolverines have consistently been one of the best teams in SMAC. The Wolverines have made the playoffs for 21 of the 23 years the school has been open. Growing up in the area, watching Westlake and the guys who have gone on, you know, to different aspects of professional football, they know that you know we're kind of a no-nonsense program, and we want to get after it and play the game the way it's supposed to be played. There is a special pride to wearing the teal and orange. Even before stepping on the practice field as a freshman for tryouts, each player knows what is required to be a Wolverine. Very physical and disciplined discipline team. You know, we're very focused. We're trying to get everything done so we can be prepared for our first game. Coach Curtis, he, the way he coaches us and the way he thinks is just, we just want to be animals on the field, nothing else. Destroy everything you see, especially defensive-wise. Despite all the program success, Westlake has won only one state title in the school's history. This year's group of Wolverines believes they have the ability and attitude to bring a championship back to their school. Our team is young, but they want it. Like, they want a state championship as much as me and the rest of the senior, so we're just trying to get it done. We set smaller goals underneath of that umbrella mm -hmm. to make sure that we're taking the proper steps to try to get there. And with every game, we step that much closer to putting ourselves in that position. Yeah! There was always a lot of enthusiasm during practice at Lackey. The Chargers are even more pumped up after going 9-3 last season and winning a playoff game. The team is working hard to keep the momentum rolling. We got a lot of energy coming from last season, trying to put in the same effort we did last year, keep, the, uh, keep our record the same or, or better if not. I mean, most people think it's over, but we're going to come out stronger and better than last year. 26 seniors are on this year's team. They were all freshmen when John Lush took over four years ago. They have grown together and are proud of what they have accomplished as a group. When I took over four years ago, I talked about changing the culture. And really, you know, my thing is in high school, it's all about getting really close. And this group has bought into that hook, line, and sinker. Coach Lush really changed this program because I remember when Lackey used to be like the bottom of the list of everything. Now we being hunted by everybody in every school in the state. As Coach Lush has told them, this group of Chargers has gone from the beginning stage to the competitive stage to the winning stage. Players can't wait for what's next. 
you know, whether that's a, a championship step, you know, that, that's what we're gonna work towards, but you know, we gotta put in work every day. We lost to Hunter Town Regionals, you know, we working back, you know, that's a chip on our shoulder, we gotta go get it. So, you know, RTD is our little motto this year, return to dominance. Good. Inside, there you go, there you go.